assalamu alaikum everyone today we will discuss the pyruvate kinase deficiency we have all discussed the intrinsic hemolytic anemia that are caused by structural or functional rbc abnormality which can be further classified on the basis of pathogenesis we have rbc membrane defects in which we have pnh hs and hereditary erythrocytosis enzyme defect we have pyruvate kinase deficiency g6pd hexokinase adenylate kinase and hemoglobinopathy we have HBC, hemoglobin, zeuric, sickle cell, and thalassemia. So, pyruvate kinase deficiency are the small races of defect of pyruvate kinase enzyme. Glucose is the only energy source in the RBC. Pyruvate kinase catalyzes the last step of glycolysis, irreversibly convert phospho in all pyruvate to pyruvate. Absence of pyruvate kinase, so there will be deficiency of ATP in RBC. ATP deficiency disrupts the return gradient along the RBC membrane. Rigid RBC increases hemolysis extravascular. So, the there will be accumulation of 2,3 biphosphoglycerate which release increase the release of oxygen from HB so mask the symptom of anemia clinical symptoms so typically newborn jaundice due to hemolysis history of exchange transfusion splenomegaly pallor fatigue weakness in rare cases heart hospital diagnosis so decrease pyruvate kinase enzyme activity pklr gene mutation and on the blood smear we will have bar cells what is the treatment so treatment is phototherapy and our exchange transfusion in the case of severe anemia or excessive lr spleen so we can also do spleenectomy